Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today I want to touch base a little bit more on my Halloween tree. I got this last year. Um, I can't remember, I think it's called Tree Toppers or Treetopia, I think it's called. But anyway, it ended up costing me like $150. It's a pre-lit. It uh, has 250 lights on it. And I've always wanted an orange one because obviously uh, black really stands out on an orange tree. With simple white lights, you can't go wrong. Before this, maybe about two years ago, I had a black pencil uh, pencil tree that I pretty much decorated with the tricolored uh, Halloween lights. And it looked really cool. I had all kinds of stuff on it. But I just got to the point that I wanted something different, and that's why I ended up getting this orange tree. As I've seen them on the internet, and i got to say they really look fantastic. And I want to show you what this one looks like up close and personal. There is another video I just uploaded today. Um, it is, in fact, October 6th, 2021. You'll find it online. It's uh, based on my pumpkin carvings. And towards the end of that video, I show you a little bit of this tree. But this one here is going to be much more elaborate. So you can see what it all looks like. It'll probably give you some ideas of what to throw on your tree if you decide you want to do one of these, okay? It's not heavily decorated yet. I'm still not sure if I want to throw some more things on it. But sometime down the line, uh, I'll probably have to go online because a lot of the stores around here had Halloween stuff out. But they totally stripped things right out of the store that quick and replaced it with Christmas. It's ridiculous how this pandemic is really not taking people serious enough to think that Halloween is not a major holiday. It is, in fact, probably the second most popular holiday next to Christmas, okay? But the thing is, you go into these stores and are not heavily um, uh, loaded with uh, all kinds of Halloween stuff. Or it's pretty much the same stuff they had last year and stuff. So it wasn't too fascinating this year, so to speak. And I didn't really buy that much because of it. But hopefully that will change in the near future, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, long story short, I have to uh, pretty much uh, try to find some new ideas for this tree. But right now I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to show you what it looks like up close and personal. We're going to start at the bottom of the tree, work our way up. Alright, now, as you can see, i got these little sparkly branches, okay. I get these at the Dollar General. Uh, I literally got... Probably like 20 to 40 of them on here. You'll notice some black heavy branches on here. I got those from Michaels. Those are expensive, but they really do look fantastic on this tree. All right. I got a witch's leg, and I got another one on the other side. Okay, got some spiders and witch's hats and a little bit of skeletons. Like I said with the black pencil tree that I had, I really decorated with all kinds of Halloween stuff. This year, not so much. I just like the whole branch effect with a little bit of, uh, you know, Halloween decor. All right. Now, the black branches, as you can see, they really do look fantastic on an orange tree. Again, more of those sparkly things. I got a bunch of them on this tree. I buy them every year. All right. We got some spiders there. Nice big one right there. Okay. All right. And I got these little tiny ball type things, too. I think I got those from the Dollar Child General, too, as well. There's a spider up in the back there, if you can see his legs, okay? It's not decorated all the way around because I got it stuck in a corner. Now, normally, I decorate my trees all the way around, and that includes my Christmas tree, all right? Now, this right here is, in fact, a witch's hat, which is the tree topper, okay? Uh, I got that from, uh, not Cracker Barrel, yeah, Cracker Barrel. Uh, they always have some very cool Halloween stuff. This year I went in there and they had just a little bit of Halloween. I was in and out of there in less than a minute. That's how much Halloween stuff they had this year. They're not taking Halloween serious this year for some strange reason. And it's just kind of odd the way they do that. Okay. Turn my ghost around. All right. I also got another one from the uh, Cracker Barrel. Now, these are around 20 bucks a piece if you can get them. You go in the store. They are cheap, but they're very cool looking. All right, all right. Now around the other side here, okay. I guess uh, you can see down there in the corner. Let me get my handle out of the way there. There's the other witch's leg. Okay, as you can see, there is a lot of branches all around the tree here. But like I said, it's stuck in a corner, so I can't get around it. All right. 
just so you know okay spiders lots of black branches okay this is what it looks like up close this guy right here is a four tier or four skull I got it from BJ's warehouse about five years ago the battery casing got corroded because I was stupid enough to leave the batteries in and it doesn't work now I could probably replace the battery compartment and it'll start working again it lights up and I think it makes some sounds too but it's been a while since I turned it on okay that's what that looks like but anyway this is my Halloween tree I have another one out in the living room like I said it's on that video if you want to check it out the lighting's not that great but you get the idea of what's going on with these trees okay this one here I had to turn everything on so you can actually see the, uh, the tree decently anyway that's it for this Christmas tree don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you guys in the near future.